Hello everybody, and welcome to the Gold Saucer of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, besides the chocobo racing that I've been doing in a couple of the other videos, um, they've also added the card game to the MMO that um, many people have been begging and begging Yoshi P to add a freaking card game in into Final Fantasy XIV, and he's finally done it. Um, and it's Triple Triad, which... Um, Triple Triad, which was taken from uh, Final Fantasy VIII or IX, I think. I can't quite remember uh, which one it was taken of. Um, but it is a lot of fun. There, There is quite a bit to the game. Um, so I've been playing for a little bit. I'm going to show you guys um, some of my cards here. So you gain... You gain cards by either spending your um, your MGP, your Mandrival Gold Saucer points, or you can earn cards by beating in certain NPCs. Um, so I haven't gotten anything really cool. I've gotten some basic stuff. I've won a couple cards from beating some of the NPCs here at the Gold Saucer. And there's not just NPCs here at the Gold Saucer. They're kind of all over everywhere. Um, seems like the seems like the best place to play, the best thing to do to earn gold saucer points is actually to play other players. Um, but it seems like you can't play other players like everywhere else in the world, uh, which is kind of stupid, but there are NPCs that are all over um, in the world uh, that you can play, like, um, like the leaders of all the adventurers guilds um, in the three city states, you can go and play them. Um, and win cards from them but if like if your deck sucks you're not gonna win any cards depending on what the rules are and there's a lot of mix of rules um, so I'm just gonna show you some basic some relatively basic stuff um, and actually see if I can just challenge another player here challenge to normal match so I'm gonna challenge this person here, regional rules, three open, that means I'm going to get to see three of her cards. Match fees at zero, which is really cool, because when you play NPCs, you have to pay a match fee, and if I win, I get 180 uh, Mandarin Cold Saucer points. And I just lost to, well, I drew with somebody, and then I lost to somebody once, just a few minutes ago, and I, it didn't, um, it didn't take any of my points away, so. I'm going to randomly challenge this person. Oh, I think she's walking away. Yep, she's walking away. Alright, since no other players are letting me challenge, because I've tried to challenge like four people and they don't want to do it. Um, so I'll just challenge one of the NPCs. So, it does cause a match fee of 15, and then you can get 32 for winning, plus the possibility of getting a card. It's not a guaranteed drop, which kind of sucks. Um... That's okay. It adds a lot to the game. This fool's got some powerful cards, which sucks. So you have to kind of use the plus rule to kind of try to beat him. Uh, I can switch this guy over with my Moogle, but my Moogle's going to get raped real easy. Uh, let's see. What do I have that's good? I really want to protect my Moogle from getting changed. Well, I guess I'll do that. I have nothing bigger than eight. Use my Chocobo card there. Uh, I can throw that guy in. I got him. I got a plus, but it only switched over one card. I was going to switch that card anyway. Okay. But I won that. Didn't get the drop. Uh, he gives a Chocobo card, I believe. Um. Whoa. Um. That's basically just a, a very quick uh, intro to Triple Triad that they've added in this game. Hey, somebody just got a Bahamut card. Oh my god, it's so legendary. Legendary. 
My blue eyes white dragon card. Heart of the just kidding. Um Oh yeah, so I'm gonna give me a second, I'm gonna switch screens here and bring up a website. Um Okay. Um So this is um a really cool freaking website that I was just super excited to find because I'm getting obsessed with Triple Triad and Final Fantasy XIV like a lot of players are. Um, this website's really cool. It has um, the list of all the cards that are currently in the game, which is about 60 of them or so. Um, and then it gives you the location of where to obtain these cards, at least for most of them. Not all of them have actually been found yet. Um, it also gives the, all the NPCs that uh, you can play Triple Triad with around, around the entire game, around the realm. And then, of course, there's some uh, uh, some, some uh, tutorials on how to actually play the game, which I want to read that up. So if I were you guys looking to really start to get into the game, I'd really read that up. Uh, we're going to go through the cards here real quick first. Um, there's some general monsters, you know, corals, um, different beastmen, of course. Um, and then there's actual people from the game. So Tachiru's got a her card. Um... And then some of the other bosses that you fa face in dungeons. The Siren, Ultros and Typhoon, Demon Wall, Succubus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Blue Dragon. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so there's the three the three people that are from the Adventurers Guilds. Um, a couple of the, um, the generals that were following Neil Van Darnus or whatever the dude's name is. Figs and Wedge. Gilroat, um, a few of the uh, more more well-known beastmen, Behemoth, Gilgamesh, and Kidu, and then your summons, Ifrit, Titan, Garuda. Uh, I thought there was a Leviathan too. Oh yeah, he's down here more. They sit and group them together. Good King Mogulmog. Um, the two twins from Gordania. Um, there's a lot of really famous, like a lot of the famous Final Fantasy XIV characters. I really want that Hildebrand and Nanashu card. Or that Bahama card. See, some of them have these A's. I don't know what A is. Somebody in my, my free company was joking saying that it's auto win, and maybe that's true. Maybe it's just auto win. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be funny. Um, the cool thing is they've added characters from other games as cards. Um... These characters are just super beefy, powerful, pretty much. There's a warrior of light. He kind of looks like... Uh, he almost kind of looks like Kane. Um, Biron, well, I can't remember which Final Fantasy he's from. He's going to beat me up for that. Cecil is from Final Fantasy 3. You know, Bart's, I forget what he's from. Um, there's Terra, Cloud, Squall, Zidane, Titus. Uh... A Shento card from... She's from Final Fantasy XI. And then a Van and Lightning card as well. There's a lot of really... A lot of really cool cards that you can kind of collect and get uh, in this whole card game. Um, and card location, guys. So, there's three cards they haven't found yet. Fear on Cecil and Titus. Um, but it lists cards you can get from the dungeons, trials, raids, and then winning cards from different things here as well. Um, and then, of course, like I was saying, the NPCs, some of the gold saucer, Lenosha, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go too into that. And then, of course, just the how to play. It'll kind of give you a rundown of... It gives Because there, there's a huge amount of different rules that you can play with. So, um, definitely something to check out. Other than that, thanks for uh, watching this little mini video about uh, the gold saucer and uh, triple triad. I look forward to playing a lot more of Triple Triad. There's a lot of things, a lot of really cool things I want to use my Manderville Gold Saucer points for. Um, like a Finrear mount for one of them. But saving them up is going to be really hard because I want more cards. <laughs> um, anyway, enough about that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of the Gold Saucer, let me know in the links below. or Hit the like button all that good stuff because I think I'm going to do another video about all the mini games that are... Um, around the gold saucer and the and the lotteries as well. Um, so until the next video, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.